Welcome to the setup guide for your Silhouette Portrait Electronic Cutting Machine. These step-by-step -step instructions will help guide you through the process of setting up your Silhouette. Start by taking your machine out of the box. Once the portrait is out of the box, you may register your machine at silhouetteamerica.com forward slash setup. You will find a unique serial number on the back of the machine. Completing the registration process will also sign you up for your official Silhouette account. Once your machine has been registered, check to make sure that you have all of the items that should have been included in the box. In addition to the machine, there should be a power cord with an AC adapter, a USB cord, an 8 inch by 12 inch cutting mat, an auto blade, and a small multi-use tool, which can be used to adjust your blade or remove the Bluetooth adapter from your Silhouette machine. Once you've confirmed all items are present, discard any tape from the machine that covers the lid and blade carriage and remove the foam pieces found in the machine. Plug the included AC adapter into the right-hand side of the silhouette and then into a wall socket. Turn on your portrait by pressing the power button. Now that your machine is set up, you're ready to download and install the Silhouette Studio software. Silhouette Studio allows you to create and cut your own unique designs. To download the software, click on the option for your operating system. Once the download is complete, Run the installation file and proceed through the on-screen steps to install and set up your software. Now that the Silhouette Studio software is installed, it's time to set up the machine. Start by loading the auto blade. The auto blade will automatically set itself to the proper setting for each job based off your material selection in the software, so all we need to do is load it into the machine. To do this, unlock the blade carriage by pulling the lock lever out. Insert the auto blade, and while pressing the blade down, lock the blade carriage into place by pressing it forward. This will ensure the blade is properly fastened while your machine is cutting. Next, open the Silhouette Studio software program. The main screen displays a blank 12 inch by 12 inch cutting area. To adjust the size of the cutting area to match your cutting mat, go to the Page Setup panel and change the page size as well as the cutting mat size. Let's create a simple project by clicking on the Shape tool and selecting the ellipsis. You can click and drag your mouse in the cutting area to draw your shape. Silhouette Studio will show you where your image will be cut on the mat. To see your image placement more accurately, you can select the Page Setup panel on the right. Click and drag the Reveal slider bar to show or hide the cutting mat on the screen. Revealing the cutting mat can help to more accurately position your material on the actual cutting mat based on your design placement. When you are ready to cut, connect the machine to your computer with the included USB cable. Remove the protective liner from the cutting mat and place your material in the top upper left corner as shown in Silhouette Studio. In this example, we've chosen cardstock as our material. Please note that your mat may be very sticky when you first remove the liner and may cause your material to adhere strongly to the cutting mat. This is normal. The mat will become less sticky the more it is used. With the material placed onto the cutting mat, we're ready now to load it into the machine. Align the left edge of your cutting mat with the first shorter mark on the left. The other two short marks on the machine should line up with the different paper sizes that are marked on the mat. Make sure that the top of the cutting mat is resting against the white rollers. 
Proceed to load your mat into the machine by tapping the up arrow, which is the load button. Once the cutting mat has been loaded into the machine, click on the Send tab in the upper right-hand corner of Silhouette Studio. In the Send panel, select your material type. In this case, we'll click on Cardstock. Make sure your action is set to Cut and your tool is set to Auto Blade. When ready, click on the Send button to start your job. The machine will automatically adjust the blade depth based on the selected material and cut out your design. Once the machine is finished cutting, press the down arrow, which is the unload button, to unload your cutting mat. You may now remove your design from the mat. Select materials such as vinyl that have their own adhesive backing can also be used in the Silhouette machine without a cutting mat. Silhouette offers such materials. Since the white rollers on the portrait aren't adjustable, you will need to ensure that the material is wide enough to fit between the rollers. In Silhouette Studio, go to the Page Setup panel and under the Cutting Mat option, select None. You are now ready to load your material directly into the portrait. For this example, we are going to create some text. Start by selecting the Text tool and then click on the cutting area and start typing. You can create a text design using any font on your computer. Once you're ready, click on the Send tab in the upper right-hand corner of Silhouette Studio. To select your material type, Vinyl, set your action, Cut, and select your tool, Auto Blade before clicking on the Send button to cut out your design. When the cut is complete, you'll then tap the down arrow on the machine. You're now ready to apply your cutout material onto your desired project surface. Within Silhouette Studio, you will have access to your Silhouette account in your library from any machine you log into. When you register your new machine, you will receive access to 50 free shapes in your library. To access your library, click on the Library tab in Silhouette Studio. When prompted, you will need to sign into your Silhouette account, so make sure you are connected to the internet. Your 50 free images will automatically be loaded into the library once you connect the USB cable to the silhouette. If you don't see them, simply unplug and reconnect the USB cable to your silhouette machine. In addition to 50 free designs that come with your machine, you also have a free one-month Silhouette Design Store subscription. To redeem your subscription, open the Store tab in Silhouette Studio and sign in to your Silhouette account. Once signed in, select the Subscriptions button found at the top of the page. Select the Payment and Billing Info section and enter the promotional code that was emailed to you when you successfully registered your new machine. Once you've entered the code, click Apply. This will provide you with a free one-month basic subscription to the Silhouette Design Store. You will receive $25 of Design Store credits, which will be valid for 30 days. All content downloaded from the Design Store will become part of your personal library. And any content that is downloaded while you have a subscription is yours to keep even if your subscription ends. The Silhouette Design Store contains more than 100,000 trendy designs, fonts, quotes, and patterns, all designed for use with your Silhouette machine. Search for specific designs and then download them to use them in all your projects. Most images are offered for just 99 cents and are even cheaper with our subscription or credit boost discount options. Your machine may come with a Bluetooth adapter that has already been installed. 
To determine if your machine includes a Bluetooth adapter, please review the outside of your box. If the box says Bluetooth included, your machine will be ready to communicate wirelessly from a Bluetooth-enabled device. To set up the Bluetooth feature, start by powering on the machine. Push the Bluetooth button. When the Bluetooth is on, the light will turn blue. In Silhouette Studio, go to the Send tab. Click on the machine icon at the bottom of the panel. The software will automatically connect to your machine if the Bluetooth is on. After a few seconds, the status of the portrait will display as Ready in the Send panel, and the light on the portrait will turn purple. Then setup is complete. If the box says Bluetooth compatible, your machine is still able to connect to your computer via Bluetooth. But to use Bluetooth, you will need to purchase a Bluetooth adapter and install it yourself. You can obtain a third-party Bluetooth adapter that is sold separately. The adapter requirements are as follows. Measurements of the recommended adapter cannot exceed these dimensions. However, the measurements may be smaller. The chip type for a Bluetooth adapter must be the following CSR chip, CSR8510A10. Other Bluetooth adapters with alternate chipsets will not work with the machine. In order to install the third-party Bluetooth adapter, turn your machine over, locate the Bluetooth compartment, and remove the screw with a Phillips screwdriver. Once the compartment cover has been removed, proceed to install the third-party Bluetooth adapter. Explore the many other options available with the Silhouette Portrait and Silhouette Studio software by consulting the machine and software manuals found in Step 6 on the Setup page. Find project ideas on our social media channels and our blog at blog.silhouetteamerica.com. Sign up for weekly free designs and the company newsletter, which contains discount codes and sale information. On our website, you'll find our entire product catalog. Pick a starter kit or your favorite color of vinyl for a new project. There are also tools and other specialty materials available. It's all there for you at silhouetteamerica.com. Dream it up, cut it out.